It's time to get this play-in game started as the seventh and eighth seeds clash here tonight. With Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, this is Kevin Harlan. We'll be hearing from David Aldridge on the sideline. D.A., take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Kawhi Leonard was recognized as one of the NBA's 75 greatest. Coach Ty Lu says to go from being a 15th pick to that means a lot. It's a tribute to his hard work and dedication. And Leonard credits that work ethic to his dad. He says, I try to play as hard as I can each night. That's what my father wanted me to do. Kevin? What a worker Kawhi is. Terrific player. And a great story, David. Thanks. So a Johnson sitting on the bench. Here's the group that Monty Williams has on the floor. Paul and Booker, the talented backcourt pair. Stoudemire out there with Ayton. And it's Marion in at the small forward position. And for the Clippers, the wing pairing, George and Leonard. McAdoo out there with Griffin. And it's Paul in at the point guard position. Both these squads, man, Brent, they, they play hard on the defensive end, don't they? Did you enjoy playing in games like this? No, Kevin. Why, why would defense? Why would I enjoy playing against a good defensive team? I want to score. But we will appreciate what we get tonight with these guys. Great effort, great grit, and we'll see who will come out on top. And it's good. Two points. Well, though he spends a lot more time, at least in recent seasons, on the perimeter, Griffin's bread and butter still can be around the rim. Now, here's Paul. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Paul passes to George. And here's Leonard. Left side, Griffin. And that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. And it's Phoenix's ball. Paul, right side. About one minute into the first quarter. Rebound, Kawhi Leonard. D giving him that shot, and that's probably not a good idea, but I guess they knew what they were doing that time. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. There's some unique qualities to the play of Blake Griffin, a big with incredible handles and passing skills who can still throw it down. Los Angeles shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Blake Griffin hits them both. First quarter just over a minute played. This is it to Aiton. Suns moving the ball around. Here's Booker. He's been putting up the points on a very steady basis, averaging around 17 and a half points a game. Four on the clock. Pulls it up. And it's off the back rim. No good. And when you look at Paul George, I mean, he's been in the middle of a couple monster trades. Well, PG exchange for two future All-Stars in Sabonis and Oladipo uh, going to Indy. And in that massive trade to L.A., the Thunder got SGA and a boatload of picks. It just shows you how much value Paul George has. And trust me, he's very much valued by the team he's on. Stoudemire with a screen on Paul. Stoudemire the pass to Paul. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Paul's got his second bucket of the night. You can count on Stoudemire finding the open man. Marion against Leonard. Good work defensively by Marion. Suns have gone two for four from the field so far today. Paul with the steal. 
Out of bounds. Phoenix will take possession. And so Booker will bring it up for Phoenix. Trailing by two. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Here's Aiton. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. Well, Aiton goes after rebounds with some tenacity. Phoenix shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. Big men, though, often struggle to find consistency. But you look at Aiden's first four seasons, the numbers are almost identical year to year. Now here's Paul. Nine-point game is last outing. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. Now you don't see many of these opportunities for this team, but Kawhi, one guy who can get up there and get it done. Paul kicks to Aiden. Booker outside. Stolen by George. Here's the pass to Mackin. Tipped away. And stolen by Booker. Pass to Marion. First quarter of action. Just under three and a half minutes played. Paul finds Stoudemire. Back to Paul. Six on the shot clock. Over Paul. Another shot. Ayton. And terrific work on the offensive glass, and he picks up two. You know, if Aiton continues to play with that kind of effort, possession by possession, he's a real tough cover. Here's Griffin. That falls. Nice speed that time from Jordan. Six points for Blake Griffin. And for Aiton, the numbers are impressive indeed, averaging a double-double every season. And he's got all the tools, next steps, making more plays for others and they've been working on his shooting range to open up the lane a bit more Stoudemire kicks to Paul lets the three fly the Suns keeping it alive the new 14 George looking over the floor pass to Griffin Back to George. To the wing right side. Paul for three. Phoenix grabs the miss. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Booker with the screen for Paul. Over Paul. The rejection by Paul. Always in position to make a play at either end. Chris Paul teed that one up nicely. Three-pointer. That's in. And he found his range with that one. Now one for two. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Out to the right wing. A fader. Paul missing again. Well, his poor shooting is a big reason that they're staring at this deficit right now. He needs to get on track if they're going to find a way to win. Now here's Paul. His scoring has been there on a regular basis. He's averaging more than 14 points a game. And the shot goes down. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. And so it's Paul bringing it up for Phoenix. Six-point game. Aiton sets the pick for Paul. And again, unable to change momentum here. Leonard looking around. They set the pick. And the Clippers getting another bucket right there. Booker with it. What a tremendous game he played against the Clippers. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. And this might not be the end of the road, Greg, for whichever one of these teams loses this game. They still have another shot in the second game of the play-in tournament. But all the same, 
it's not a scenario either coach wants to face. No, this is the game where you want to take care of business. And there's the added incentive of facing the number two seed in the first round and not having to face the top dog. Don't count out how important that is. That would make the road ahead even tougher. You can be sure, Greg, we're going to see both these teams putting it all on the line tonight in the quest for the seven seed. Nash has checked in for Paul. Booker outside to end the run. He gets that one to fall after missing his first two. One for three from the field. Want to be an all-star guard like Devin Booker? Uh, you might want to start hitting your share of triples. McAdoo dishes to George. And again, Los Angeles with a triple. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitors. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Now here's Booker over George. A nice shot by Booker. Booker's got five now. You know how smooth is Devin Booker's J right there, and inside the arc, he nails it. Here's Leonard. Rebound by the Suns. Yeah, I have no idea why he went with the fadeaway there. The defense was nowhere near him, and he should have just kept it simple. Nash can't get it to go. Clippers leading by six. McAdoo, the pass to Paul. On the wing, George. Defended by Booker. On the wing. The shot by George, no good. Phoenix has gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Well, many thought the Suns would let Aiden walk as a restricted free agent. But they had no hesitation matching the offer to bring him back. It looks like he'll be a son for the foreseeable future. That free throw, no good. And Aiden, with that efficiency, just becomes an outstanding option for what you do offensively. And the Clippers going with a whole new group out there. And then for Phoenix, Johnson, he's checked in for Stoudemire. Mikhail Bridges comes in for Sean Mary. Jason Kidd is subbed in for Booker. So neither attempt will fall that time frame. And so it's Wall with it, bringing it up for the Clippers. Six-point lead. Passes it to Morris. They get the rebound. Here's Jordan, and the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Well, the intensity of DeAndre Jordan on the glass helping to secure the rebound. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Clippers. And guys, I love the movement, doing a great job of just getting the ball on a string, creating some opportunities. Well, I want to add also the damage that has been done on the inside. It's a lot of rubble in there, but they're continuing to go right at the defense.
Here's Nash. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Hit up top. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. The focus from Kidd, terrific at just keeping his composure even when things get tight. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Misses. And kid, he really is just a nightly triple double threat. Big point guard who can score, pass, and also rebounds the ball. Man passes the wall. Morris with a screen on Nash. All with it, and it's Johnson picking him up. Redick for three. No good. The Suns go the other way with it. Just doing the job on the backboard. Nash outside. Kid kicks to Bridges. There's Nash with the three. Can't get it to go. He's taken two and missed two. Los Angeles leading by seven. Morris with a screen on Ayton. And here's Wall outside. Here's Jordan. And DeAndre Jordan throws it down. Yeah, you could pretty much uh, say that DeAndre Jordan's going to get a lot of his points right there, trolling around the rim. Outside, Kidd launches it. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Jordan's got four rebounds in this game. Outside, Wall. He kicks it to Morris. That's good. And so Wall with the assist. And now a 12-point Clipper lead. Well, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Bridges outside. And there's the pass to Nash. And a miss there on the triple. Los Angeles has gone three of seven from three-point range in the first quarter. And here's Wall outside. Rebounded by DeAndre Ayton. Suns trail by 12. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Pass to Kidd. Ayton sets the pick for Kidd. Yep, that one goes. And I'm a big fan of the awareness of Nash on the floor. A, a selfless player who's just fantastic at getting the ball to his open teammates in rhythm. Here's Mann. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Reddick with the three. Bridges with the board. A uh, team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy. And theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. Outside kid. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. Kid's got to back down to single digits for Phoenix. Wall passes to Jordan. Back to Wall. 51 seconds left to play here in the first. And the Clippers miss again. We'll see if they want to trade two for one here. Got to time up that clock to do so. Here's Bridges. Again, Phoenix. Consistent shooter like Bridges loves to get openings from the mid-range like that to get his rhythm. Outside, Wall. Twenty-three seconds left in the first. A shot goes in, first of the night. He's one for three to start the game. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. Here's Nash, outside for Kidd. He feeds it to Bridges. Here's Mann. Pass to Reddick. Over Kidd. And no good on the last second attempt this time. And that concludes the first quarter of play. The Clippers on top. Up eight. 
And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. And welcome for the second quarter of this critical play-in game. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? I mean, the rebounding was the difference in that first period. You've got to block these guys out. Yeah, rebounding can also be just about will, and they showed some of that in going in there and collecting some boards. Well, it was the Clippers, their last game a loss to the Suns, so with Paul on the bench. Here's the group that Monty Williams has on the floor. They've got Nash. Marion is out there with Johnson. And it's Stoudemire. And it's Kidd in at the two. That one goes in. Stoudemire's got the first points up on the board here in the second quarter for the Suns. Jordan a screen on Johnson. George finds Jordan. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. And you're just not going to see him do that very often. Usually when he rises up, there's a guarantee it's going down. Now here's Nash. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Buries it from three-point range. And the jump shot of Nash. Poetry in motion. A super efficient shooter from downtown. It's Jordan on the win. Clippers moving the ball around. Shot clock at six. And here's George for three. And he's good on the three ball. George has got six. Now that last three must have bothered George a little bit. He, he goes to the arc with a purpose and fires off his answer. Nash with it. He's picked up by Jordan. Two open that time. Made it look too easy. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. Kid dishes to Nash. And it's Norman Powell with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. McAdoo is checked in for Jordan. And a change for the Suns. Booker's checked in. Here's Nash. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11.5 points a game. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Here's the lob to the hoop. Out of bounds, the Clippers take possession. Looked like a simple play and turned into a turnover. Can't give away possessions like that. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. To the paint. Here's McAdoo. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one is on Stoudemire. And it has to be said. McAdoo, one of the best shooting bigs ever. Shooting better than 50% from the field for entire seasons is routine for him. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. Both free throws good for McAdoo. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? I mean, he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. Passes it to Booker. Shoots over Powell. Booker no good. And here's Griffin. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Paul outside. 
Griffin a screen on Nash. Hall. Sean Marion grabs the miss. Suns trail by five. Nash outside. The dish to Stoudemire. Johnson, the pass to Nash. That one falls. Coming off the Johnson feet. Nash has got his second bucket tonight. And Joe Johnson unselfish with that play. You can call his number just about any time, but turning down a good shot for a great one, good on you, Joe. Now here is George. Six points for him. Now the pass to Griffin. Over Marion. And that one's good, Griffin. Griffin's got his third basket of the night. And that's what Griffin does best. They're remarkable how he maintains control and schools the D. Nash against Paul. Nash kicks to Stoudemire. And here's Booker from the arc. Another three for Phoenix. Somebody's going to set him up, and Devin Booker's going to knock him down. Thrives in that catch and shoot. Now here's Paul. Pass to Griffin. The shot from the low post is good. Griffin's got 10 points. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. Now the Clippers trading last season for Norman Powell. And uh, as they say, Greg, the rich get, get richer. Yeah, an excellent two-way player. Uh, they're winged up becoming the envy of the league. And, and he's just coming into his prime. So he fits the timeline of their star. Now here's Griffin following the miss by Steve Nash. And here is Paul over Stoudemire. And it's Paul missing. Now Nash. Stoudemire setting the pick for Nash. That three off the mark. I'm not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself for whiffing a bit on that one. Here's Paul. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Kawhi Leonard is checked in for Los Angeles. Chris Paul, he's checked in for the Suns. What's up? Still providing incredible production and great leadership. Chris Paul sets the standard for his team. Phoenix calls timeout.
feeds it to Marion. Suns moving the ball around. Good on that shot, and with that, the Los Angeles Lee's cut to just five points in the basket from Paul. And this kind of distribution is something that Devin Booker is only going to improve upon. Now, here's George. We saw him with 19 points his last outing. And it's George finishing it off. Man, he sure can get off the floor. He's one of the best in the business, absolutely. Stoudemire with a screen on George. He lobs up the alley pass, and the jam by Stoudemire. And Stoudemire, just excellent timing on these alley-oops. It has that great connection with his teammates. Lob it up, and he'll take care of the rest. Now here's Paul. Six points for him. Pass to Griffin. Over Marion. That one a little long. So for Phoenix, their last game, a win against the Clippers. Booker with it. He's got eight. And it's Phoenix scoring again. Well, the defense knows Devin Booker, when he's in a rhythm, can be problematic. Paul looking around. Passes to George. Inside, it's stolen by Stoudemire. Booker against George. The pass to Paul. Stoudemire with the ball. Booker outside. Six to shoot. Stoudemire setting the pick for Booker. He nails it, and we're tied up. Booker's got a pair of triples in the second now for the Suns. Solid in the first. Fantastic here in the second. He was just waiting for the moment. A shot by George. Wide open. Los Angeles with another miss. You could see he wanted to get him back. Sadly, he couldn't capitalize from outside the arc. And there's Booker on the assist by Johnson. Booker's got the lead up to two now for Phoenix. Well, he doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more. And he looks like he's going to get it. Griffin a screen on Paul to stop the run. Rebound by the Suns. Stoudemire's got five rebounds tonight. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Oh, how about the powerful move there on that slam from McAdoo? Not, not many are better than him at getting the job done on the interior. He'll always find a way to finish at the rim when he gets a chance. Los Angeles has gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Leonard the pass to Paul. Back to Leonard. Over Paul. And it's Leonard missing. Phoenix has gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight. Nailed five of them. Booker up top. Defended by George. Booker no good. And so Griffin will bring it up for the Clippers. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. And here's George for three. And it's Devin Booker with the rebound. Phoenix has gone 4-6 from long range in the second quarter. Solid shooting. Trains the three-pointer. Johnson's got six points in the quarter. Well, Joe Johnson, a good shooter for all the time he spent in the NBA. That's solid. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here.
And Los Angeles will go for a different look here. Jordan's checked in for McAdoo. Ivica Zubats has checked in for Blake Griffin. J.J. Reddick's checked in for George. And John Walls subbed in for Chris Paul. And the Suns here with a different look. Aiton, he's checked in for Stoudemire. Johnson comes in for Sean Marion. Mikael Bridges checked in for Johnson. Jason Kidd is subbed in for Booker. Clippers trail by three. Outside Leonard. Shoots over Bridges. That one off the back iron and out. Yeah, it's pretty much the only way to keep him from taking advantage of you down low. You've got to play tough, physical defense. Outside, Reddick. Pass to Jordan. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. They are just killing him on the interior. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for the Suns. Well, they haven't wasted any time getting into a groove from deep, putting up and hitting a healthy amount of three-pointers thus far. Let's make sure that that selfish nerve doesn't get tapped because right now there's great ball movement. They're setting each other up. Let's see if that maintains. throw good Jordan well the adventure begins when DeAndre gets to the line but I, I think he's wanting to work hard on his free throws so it's not a substitution in the last two minutes of a game he wants to get confident stepping up and knocking him down now here's eight he's got five and that one drops wow fired that bounce pass in there beautiful well Brent Chris Paul is undoubtedly one of the smartest players in the NBA and that's why he's been able to maintain such a high level of play for so long. As one of his teammates said, he has an IQ that's going to keep him on the floor until he's 50. Now Paul, after J.J. Reddick's three-pointer that didn't go. And the foul call on Kawhi Leonard. That is his first foul of the game. Los Angeles on D. Bridges outside. Pass to Aiton. Over Jordan. And Jordan with the block. And Jordan, a defensive stalwart, crushing the opposition with his shot blocking. Wall against Paul. Outside Wall. Takes it out to Leonard from deep. And no good. Now the Suns take it the other way. Bridges outside. All against Paul. Back to Bridges. From the arc. Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's got six rebounds here tonight. All passes to Reddick. Jordan trying to free himself up. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Jordan. Yeah, that's a tough one. An experienced player in the pro game shouldn't be making that pass. Los Angeles making a switch here. Mann's checked in. And the Suns also making a change. Steve Nash checked in for Paul. And it's Phoenix's ball. They're on a 16-7 run. Nash kicks to Bridges. Bridges sets the screen for Kidd. Offline from the top of the key. And one thing I liked in the first quarter was their aggressiveness to draw the contact, putting the defense on the defensive. Jordan, a screen on Nash. Wall passes to Jordan. Nash with the block. Reddick against Kidd. Bridges, no one around him. And the Suns miss again. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And Reddick kicks to Wall. Zubats a screen on Bridges. Takes a three. Man can't hit. Here is Nash. 
Coming in off a 10-point performance last game out. Get the teardrop, and it's blocked by Jordan. And a deep three from Redick. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. And so it's Devin Booker making highlights for the Phoenix Sun. He got to double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, guys. With head coach Monty Williams. Coach, how do you get things going a little bit more offensively? Well, we've got to set screens. We've got to get stops. If we're getting stops, we can play in transition. That opens up a lot for us. Yeah, you guys are hard to beat when you're out and running. We'll see if that happens more. Thanks, Coach. Back to you. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. Greetings one and all, the postseason drama we love and no disappointment here as it's a close game so far for the Los Angeles Clippers. Might need to get their umbrellas out for the third quarter. It's been raining threes on them. <laughs> yeah, and if they don't start closing out, it's going to be a monsoon. We're talking flood warnings. Taking a look at the situation for the Phoenix Suns. A close one in this play-in tournament 7-8 game. The winner advances to the playoffs. The loser has another shot at it, Kenny. Yeah, it's not actually do or die. It's like a game six. If you lose tonight, you're sweating that next one. Yeah, and I love this format. The more pressure, the more excitement for the fans. Absolutely. And that concludes halftime. Now time to send it over to Kevin Harlan as the game's about to resume. Hi everyone, glad to have you back for third quarter action of the play-in game. You know guys, Devin Booker has been exceptional here. Really impressed with the shot selection through the first half. Just taking what he can get from the defense. Yeah, I'm thinking back to the first half and I'm wondering, did he take a low percentage shot? Everything efficient. So with Wall on the bench, here's who Teron Lewis going with. The wing pairing, George and Leonard. DeAndre Jordan is out there with McAdoo. And it's Paul in at the point guard. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. George, he'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Trailing by five. Phoenix has gone six of 14 with the three ball tonight. Just a little over 40%. And the dunk by Booker. Just such a gifted scorer. I mean, Devin Booker, a guy that drops 70 once in a game. you got to be kidding me. Paul passes to George. Now Leonard. Left side, Griffin. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. He's gone two for two at the line so far. That's good from Blake Griffin. Griffin hits them both. Here's Booker. Oh, 
Marion setting the pick for Booker. And the Suns tack on two more. And how about that? Coming out to start the half, a perfect three of three. Paul against Paul. And the rejection by Aiton. Well, Aiton flashing some good movement there and great timing. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. Pull, 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 pull. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. And with that shot, the Suns lead is cut down now to just five and a bucket from Kawhi Leonard. Suns have gone three of three from the field since halftime. Ayton sets the pick for Booker from the stripe. A second chance effort, and Ayton with the layup. Ayton's got the lead up to seven now for Phoenix. Yeah, 80%. Is that a good number from the field? I, I think so. Four of five here shooting. Terrific start. Outside Griffin. Here's Leonard. Shot's good. Griffin making the play. Griffin's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Booker looking around. Stoudemire with a screen on George. Booker dishes to Stoudemire. Throws it up high, and Stoudemire slams it in. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Now here's Paul. He's got six. Here he goes. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That one is on Stoudemire. Yeah, so Chris Paul beats you off the dribble. We've said that a million times. And draws contact. We've said that a million times. And that one falls for Paul. He's off on the second. Phoenix leading by six. Marion kicks to Paul. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Aiton a screen on Paul. Paul passes to Aiton. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. 11 points for DeAndre Aiton. Making the easy shots and the tough shots. He's on top of his game. Los Angeles calls timeout.
Clippers trail by eight. Outside, George. Marion against Leonard. Right side, Griffin to the middle. Pass to George. Just five on the clock. Over Booker. This ball grabs the miss. And so it's Paul bringing it up for the Suns. And we talk about the playmaking ability of CP3. Third all-time in career assists. Second all-time in career assist percentage. And he looks far from done. Stoudemire. And the layup falls. And now a 10-point Suns lead. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Leonard against Marion. Count that bucket. Leonard's got six points in the quarter. And Greg, what separates Paul from the other two guys that have more career assists is that Paul also averaged 18 points a game. And he scores with efficiency. Really a one-of-a-kind talent. When he finally does decide to hang him up, I think he'd make a great head coach as well. With three, Booker rebounded by McAdoo. McAdoo's got his fifth rebound in this one. He was terrific shooting the ball in the first half, but he looks a little bit slower out there. Possibly leg tired here in the second half. Now, here is George. He's got eight from downtown. Paul kicks to George. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. And now it's only a five-point Suns lead. Booker against George. Aiton sets the pick for Booker. For three, that's down the hatch. Notch one more to his total. That's nine for 15 shooting. Now Booker looking to get quick revenge after that score. Now here's Leonard. He's got 14. Right side, Griffin. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Griffin's got 14 points for the game. Trust me, the coaching staff more than fine with Blake Griffin taking that kind of shot, embracing the tough bucket. And the Suns call time. Norman Powell's checked in for Leonard. And the Suns making a change here as well. Joe Johnson, he's checked in for eight. Paul outside. Paul with the steal. And pushing it up. Here's the Clippers. The pass to Mackin. There's the feed to Griffin. Shoots over Johnson. Griffin can't get it to go in. Suns leading by six. Booker dishes to Marion. 
Paul passes to Marion. Paul against Paul. Lock at six. Paul against Paul. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. When you guard CP3, you just can't allow him to do whatever he wants. He's just too good. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Sun. I'm in love with how they're moving the basketball all game long. And also their ability to move without the ball. That style just makes it so difficult to defend. And there's another thing going on right now for them that has to get their confidence up, and that's the three ball. I mean, it's been falling for them, and they're locked in, and with that outside shot going, that's a big difference maker. And Paul drills both of them. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. Paul passes to George. Launches a three. The offensive rebound. Here's McAdoo. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And that's a part of what makes McAdoo such a great scorer on the inside. Even with the man all over him, he can avoid the block and still be on target. This is his third free throw attempt of the game. Nash is checked in for Phoenix. Suns leading by five. Pass to Booker. Fires from 14. And again, it's the Suns missing. For Los Angeles, they've gone six of ten from the field in the third quarter. Here's Paul, and there's the drive. Lays it up off the glass. And that's now nine points for Chris Paul. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Walker finds Stoudemire. He lobs it up. And Sean Marion with the slam. And Marion finishes with strength there, demonstrating how athletic he is with that dunking ability. Paul outside. There's the pick. He dishes it to McAdoo. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got three assists in the game. Important points there. Got him on a nice play, getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. Now here's Booker. He's got 22. Nash with no one around. No good on the three. And there have been some terrible shot choices here, Kev. That's not a good look at all. Powell against Booker. It's Powell with the drive. An efficient score. Norman Powell can fill it up when given the opportunity. And he does score from anywhere on the floor, but it's defensive versatility that I think really helps him because he can match up with smaller guards. He can get underneath bigger wings, and that defense really allows him to stay on the floor to complement the other offensive players that are producing. And the first one at the line is good. Now Norman Powell settling in and understanding more and more of who he is at the professional level. He's a scorer, and he can shoot the three at a high clip. Catching up on the changes for the Clippers. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Griffin. Reddick comes in for George. And John Wall's subbed in for Chris Paul. And for the Suns, Johnson, he's checked in for Marion. Mikhail Bridges comes in for Joe Johnson. Jason Kidd is subbed in for Booker. Johnson outside. A baseline J, and there's Nash. That's good on the assist by Johnson. Nash has got seven. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Nash against Wall. Over Nash. And that one goes long. That's one he knows he should have drained. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Steve Nash. That's foul number two for him. 
Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. Zubats is checked in for the Clippers. Clippers trail by three. Up to Powell, defended by Bridges. And here is Powell. Now Wall. Zubat. And that comes off the assist by John Wall. Zubat has got his first basket. And how about the read from John Wall? He, he knows the angles, sees the opportunity, and makes the right feed. Kid, no good. And so Powell will bring it up for Los Angeles. Pass to Zubat. Here's Jordan. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Ten points for him. A big problem in the paint, really. This is the only area that, that DeAndre Jordan is going to score from. Johnson outside. Nash the pass to Stottam. And Jordan sends it back. Powell with it. Zubats a screen on Bridges. Here's Powell down low. Zubats kicks to Jordan. Six to shoot. Reddick with the three. Bridges with the board. The Suns trail. Here is Kidd. He's got six. And yes, it's good. Kidd's got eight points. Well, he passes to the wide open man, Bridges, developing some team chemistry. Los Angeles has gone one of three from downtown since halftime. All passes to Jordan. Lined up there for Powell. Jordan inside, working on Stoudemire. Off target with the jump hook. Nash outside. One fifty-seven left in the third. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. Goes back up. And Jordan with the nice inside bucket. Jordan's got four points in the quarter. Neither side has relented a bit in this back-and-forth affair. And you can sense the energy in the building already as this game is starting to build towards having a terrific finish. Now here's Stoudemire. 11 points in the game. Nash's shot is off. Well, if he wants to make the defense work, he's got to start knocking down the threes. Only one so far in this game for him, and none since halftime. There's Wall. They look to him for part of their offensive attack. Right now, he averages nearly 12 points a game. Passes it to Pop. Gets up a three. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Suns. Now, I'm all for the crowd interacting with the players, but not so much the players interacting with the crowd. That one, errant pass. Los Angeles making a switch here. Mann's checked in. Aiton, he's checked in for Phoenix. Nash against Wall. Now, here's Nash. Not a lot of room. And Jordan sends it back. Wall looking it over. The pass to Zubats. Here's Jordan. Rebound by the Suns. Aiton's got rebound number eight now on the night. 23 seconds left to play in the third. Kicks it to Kidd. Let's a floater go. And here's Nash outside. Buries the long-range jumper. Nash has got 10 points. As we approach the fourth quarter, still anyone's ballgame. Yeah, neither team able to create much of a cushion. And here's Wall outside. Hits it from three-point range. And the Clippers lead by one. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Clippers lead by one. And do not go away as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next.
and a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle, but you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. And thanks for joining us for this fourth quarter of this play-in game. So with Stoudemire sitting on the bench, here's the group that Monty Williams has on the floor. Booker and Bridges are the wings. Andre Ayton out there with Marion, and it's Kidd in at the point. Al Phoenix shooting 52% from the floor. Nice work so far from them. Booker outside. High quality look, and he sinks it. 24 points for Devin Booker doing most of his damage on the perimeter. That time, Devin Booker showing he could score close to the rim. Paul for three. Rebound by the Suns. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Bridges passes to Booker. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And here's Griffin. He'll bring it up for the Clippers. It's a one-point game to the inside. And the slam by Blake Griffin. And you can see that combination of size and skill and Blake Griffin right now on a roll. Booker against Reddick. And Booker kicks to Mary. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. Here's Hayton. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Griffin's got seven rebounds in the game. Leonard against Bridges. And he's going up for the alley-oop. An emphatic alley-oop jam. Chris Paul came into the league playing unselfish. Continues to do so. What a dime. Reddick against Booker. Marina screen on Reddick. He was all alone on that one. Booker's got the game tied up here for the Suns. And he's on his way to putting up a big three-point total. Paul for three. Good defense by Kidd. The Suns have gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Now here's Ayton. Ayton sets the pick for Booker. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. That's with the foul there. Ayton's powerful on the inside. At 7-2, he'll go through you. Paul George, he's checked in for J.J. Reddick. Johnson, he's checked in for the Suns. Paul comes in for Jason Kidd. What's up? On the free throw, no good. Uh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Now, here is George. And it's out of bounds. And they say last touch by Griffin. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Pass to Booker. Johnson outside. Eight in a screen on Leonard. Kept alive. Los Angeles has gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. And here is Paul. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. And that one's good. George. Phoenix has gone 1-2 from three-point range here in the fourth. Booker against George. Ayton sets the pick for Booker. Perfect on the shot. Swishes it through. Booker's got 14 points now in the second half. Tough to guard Devin Booker on a quick pick and roll with his size and speed. He can be very dangerous in these sets. Booker against George. The bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. That one on Ayton. A great intensity here down the stretch. He's not one to shrink. 
in the moment. Now take a look at him. Locked in right now in this moment. Wants the ball in his hands and feels real comfortable with the shot he's taking. They throw good. Paul George. Well, in spite of the critics and the injuries, Paul George continues to produce one of the league's truly elite players. Marion setting the pick for Booker. Gets the bucket and the foul. It's going to be on Blake Griffin. Down the stretch, he's been flat out awesome. He helped them get the lead, and now he's making sure they keep it. And you mentioned the injuries for Paul George. Uh, let's see, GA, the broken leg, shoulder surgeries, last season a torn elbow ligament. Yeah, and I'm sure there are a few others, Kevin. <laughs> but give him credit. To, to battle through and maintain his greatness tells you something about his competitive will. Free throw, good Booker. And Devin Booker's impact on the game stretching far beyond just his elite ability to put the ball in the hole. Los Angeles calls timeout. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Kevin, during the last break, I heard Tyron Lou talking with his team. He told them, hey, guys, this is a close game, but if we execute right here, I like our chances. There's no need for hero ball. Trust one another. Make the simple play. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Ball outside. They get it back. McAdoo. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. Now, Paul. From the baseline. A shot. No good. Some solid D from Paul. To the middle and the slam by Blake Griffin you think about the growth of Kawhi Leonard's game where in the first few seasons had very few assists as a playmaker and now it's a it's a key part of his game now here's Paul dishes to Booker picks it out to Paul looking to get it going and it's sent back by McAdoo and they'll keep possession. He rifled that one in from distance. And the Suns lead by one. And Joe not shy stepping up there and more than willing to dial it up from long distance. Leonard against Johnson. And that one's good. Leonard. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Johnson kicks to Aiton. 
Booker outside. Aiton a screen on George. And it's Phoenix scoring again. Booker a fantastic shooter when he's got his feet underneath him. He's one of the best in the league. Ball outside. Pass to Griffin. Nobody near Leonard. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Griffin. Griffin's got assist number five here tonight. Marina screen on George. Booker with it. And Griffin picks him up defensively. The Clippers in the lead. Right side Leonard. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And doing a really good job here of pounding it inside in the second half. Sound strategy with the lead. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. Credit them for not settling. I mean, they've been in attack mode off the dribble all game long, and thus far, it's paying off. And another difference maker that we can point to tonight has been second chance points. They've been in there, they've had active hands, they've been in great position, and they've been smart attacking the offensive glass. Amazing the way Kawhi Leonard has evolved throughout his career. Well, in the early part of his career playing in San Antonio, defense was his calling card. You could even argue that his offense has gotten better than his defense, which is simply remarkable. One of the top all-around players in the NBA. And it's Aiton missing. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Griffin passes to Paul. Fires the three. Stoudemire grabs the miss. Stoudemire's got six rebounds now in the game. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. Now here's Stoudemire. On the wing, Booker. Stoudemire setting the pick for Booker. No good on the shot. The Clippers go the other way with it. They've held a 12-point lead early. And McAdoo kicks to Paul. There's the three. And the three ball is good. And the Clippers lead by seven. I'm trying more and more to utilize the three-pointer. It's a good idea. That's his second three of the game. One in each half. Timeout called. The Suns. And at this point of the game, getting a break here, important for the teams to regroup. And for the players, this is where you have a chance to get rehydrated with Gatorade. Get ready to play strong to finish off the game. against Paul. Stoudemire setting the pick for Paul. And again, it's the Suns missing. 
and this has been an outstanding display on the board and it's a big part of why they have a lead in this game doing the dirty work down low Suns trail by nine Ball looking over the floor he kicks to Booker and there's the call on Devin Booker that is his first foul of the game and really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge Clippers leading by nine. Outside, George. Up and in on the way. Well, that basket must be widening out right now. He's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. Paul with the ball. Aiton in the high post. There's the dish to Booker. Paul against Paul. Shot clock at six. Stoudemire setting the pick for Paul. And he can't stop this drought. Another miss. Uh, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Here's George. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And so he's picked up his final foul, and he will sit for the rest of this game. And the Suns making a change here. Bridges checks in. No good on the free throw. Wow, what, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> DeAndre Jordan's checked in for the Clippers. <laughs> and he's good on the second. Now you look at the massive hauls that have been received in the trades with Paul George. That should tell you how valuable PG is. Now here's Booker. Marion outside. Bridges kicks to Marion. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And Marion, a, a tough player to guard. That quick athletic combo forward with an unorthodox shot. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. A free throw drop for Sean Marion. And Sean Marion drops them both. And here is Los Angeles now. Passes to Leonard. Over Marion. And it's Leonard. That time on the assist by Paul. Paul's got his fifth assist in this one. Bridges a screen on Paul. Paul passes to Marion. Shoots over Leonard. And the Suns miss again. And they've controlled the boards, and that's a big reason why they're controlling the lead. Paul for three. And again, it's the Clippers from deep. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. Now here's Aiton. And the pass to Booker. Aiton sets the pick for Booker. Down low. Again with the block. Uh, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. George sets a screen for Paul. 
lets it go from 14. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Aiton's got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. Bridges misses. And so it's Paul with it, bringing it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 15 points. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I love the tenacity and aggressiveness, as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for the Clippers. Their shot blocking turned out to give them a big advantage in this game. Yeah, excellent defense around the rim there, Kevin. That They were disciplined and focused. And one of the league's top talents, game in and game out. And doing it here again in this one, a terrific night for Leonard. Yeah, it felt like there was more than one of him out there tonight. He was involved on every possession, and he made his presence felt in so many ways. It's good. Making every effort to put this game on ice. You love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. Now here's Booker trying to get something going. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Well, I like when Devin Booker's decisive about forcing the action. It's clear the defense is respecting his ability to score the ball. Shoot two. And he makes the first. Both teams deciding to change it up. Both free throws good from Booker. There's 42 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Wall against Booker. Wall passes to Zubats. And the dunk by Zubats. Uh, impressive job by the players, coaches, and don't discount the impact of these fans. Awesome to see their output tonight, trying to urge their team on. And that can always help. That, that home advantage of home fans getting you going, fully on display here. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. Outside wall. And that is it, folks. The L.A. Clippers have won. They poured it on tonight. Dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home no doubt helps, and the execution was flawless. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who's standing by with our player of the game. Take it away, David. Thanks very much. Kawhi, how satisfied are you with your team's performance tonight in this win? Well, we did a great job tonight. You know, we got to come in every game with the defensive hat on first, and we did that tonight. We made shots, and we, we ended up winning the game. You took it to them when it mattered, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. All right, that'll be all from us tonight. This play-in game, just a taste of what's to come in the upcoming postseason. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. As we leave you with our New Balance player of the game, Kawhi Leonard.
Thank you.